Hi guys, this is Victor and welcome to my DIY time channel. In this video, I'm going to show you two different ways how you can disable blinking AFS light on the dashboard. AFS stands for Adaptive Front Lighting System and it's responsible for headlights adjustments while driving the car. The system automatically points the low beam's headlights in the direction where the driver intends to turn. And just a heads up, this video is not about fixing the problem with AFS system, but instead I'm just going to disable the light and get it out of the sight. If you would like to fix the AFS system on your car, you would need to get a good diagnostic scanner, read the AFS error codes, and then do some research how you could possibly fix the problem. In my case, one of the AFS headlights got damaged and replacing it would be very expensive, so instead I decided to upgrade my headlights to a very nice looking aftermarket LED headlights. These aftermarket headlights are pretty nice and they give my Lexus a fresh new look and they cost a fraction of what I would pay for a new original AFS headlight. As a matter of fact, if you sell your used stock headlights on Craigslist or eBay, you can most certainly get your money back that you paid for the aftermarket headlights or you can even make a little bit of profit. The only problem with these aftermarket headlights is that they're not compatible with the AFS system and that's the reason why we've got the blinking AFS light on the dashboard. So let's take a look at two ways how we can disable it. Number one, we can disconnect the AFS ECU. On my car, the AFS control unit is located on the driver's side behind the e-brake pedal, but if you have a different car, it might be somewhere in a different place, so you'll just need to do a little bit of research and find out where it's located. I'm going to use a special plastic panel removal tool to avoid scratching the paint, and we're going to take out the front door scuff panel. Next, I'm going to remove this door trim panel. Next, we're going to take out the foot rest. You'll need to pull it straight up using quite a bit of force and it should come right out. We're going to pull back the carpet. Take out the plastic cover and this blue box behind it is the AFS control unit we're looking for. Now we can simply disconnect the AFS ECU and the AFS warning light should go away. Also, if you're not planning to go back to your stock AFS headlights, you can take out this ECU and sell it on eBay to get even more money back that you spent on the new headlights. For example, this particular one costs around $40 on eBay right now. And here we go. After we unplug the AFS control unit, there's no more AFS off warning light on the dashboard. The second way to turn off the AFS light is to simply take out the AFS fuse. You can refer to the owner's manual for the location of the AFS fuse and in my case it's fuse number 17, 7.5 amps and it's located on the driver's side instrument panel. And here's the location of the fuse. It's on the third row, brown 7.5 amp fuse. So we're just gonna take it out and just to be safe make sure you do this when the ignition is off. And this should do the trick, the AFS light should disappear now. I hope this was helpful and if you're interested in any of the tools that I used in this video, check out the links in the description. Also consider subscribing to my channel for more DIY repair videos like this. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.